good evening all the spine surgeons and neurosurgeons hmm. in this session we'll answer one important question our patients come and ask us sir i had an injury 20 years back when i was driving in a car i had a sudden jerk is that cause is that the reason that i have pain now is that the cause of my neck pain is that is that the cause of my cervical discogen neck pain or some patients ask us sir yesterday i had a, a, had a neck injury now i am completely normal i have just minimal pain in the neck or no pain but will this be cause serious injuries in the future so we'll be asking this particular question that is basically medical and debadakina put any injury to the neck does it have a long term consequence or not and if there is long term consequence how can we avoid it so this particular question in this session we are trying to uh, analyze if there is a relation between an injury to the soft tissues of the neck and a future cervicogenic neck pain okay so uh before i go in i will tell you about i will show you an animation regarding one common kind of neck injury which is known as a whiplash injury so let let us see that animation that will give you a better idea regarding what a whiplash injury is this is one of the most common kinds kind of injury to the neck okay i'll be playing this animation this injury whiplash injury animations we've created is most is commonly a seen while you are driving a car see so this particular patient is driving a car he had a collision with some other car he is wearing a seat belt so suddenly after the injury is a sudden flexion of the neck followed by a sudden hyperextension can you see there is sudden flexion followed by sudden hyperextension okay so the head moves let us zoom it and see see because of sudden flexion and hyper extension can you see it there we are rotating and zooming on other side there is injury to the facet capsule these are very small injuries you will not even notice them when you are actually seeing it so this patient let me play it again yeah let me play it again so the patient is traveling in a car there is a sudden flexion or a sudden extension this kind of sudden flexion followed by sudden extension so after this in injury when you have seen that one you can clearly see there is injury to the facet capsule so this is one of the common kind of injury where there is injury to the soft tissue of the neck after this kind of injury where there is sudden flexion followed by extension patient will be nearly normal he will not have weakness of the legs he will not have any numbness he will have mild neck pain which usually disappears in a day this kind of pain does it cause a long term damage yes my answer is actually this is not a good thing to know but answer is actually yes this whiplash injury which is very common which appears innocuous which we don't expect to cause any serious injury can lead to long term disability so the answer is yes but it does it does it mean that every patient who has simple whiplash injury not very serious injury to neck simple soft tissue injury need to be upright the answer is no so what does it mean as per benzel as per the benzel's textbook and as per my experience out of 100 patients around 70 to 80% will not have any long term consequences 
but around 20% of the patients can have accelerated and persistent neck pain. This is because injury to various tissues like the ligaments, facet capsule, disc, and all these things. So these 20% of cases can have neck pain. So these patients have can have neck pain as long as 10 to 15 years after the injury. This is what is the present consensus. It's, although it cannot be proven, but it, this is the experience of the majority of the neurosurgeons and spine surgeons. So after a whiplash injury, to prevent a long-term complication, we encourage them to have appropriate physiotherapy. This physiotherapy is advised by your physiotherapist, and this is designed to prevent long-term injury. This physiotherapy will help in quick healing of your neck muscles, ligaments, and disc. So your answer for the patient is often an injury to the soft tissue, injury to the soft tissues of the neck. Most probably you are not likely to have a permanent damage, but there is a minor chance that you may have a neck pain after a longer time. So prevent to prevent this delayed neck pain, it's advisable for you to go for physiotherapy and your physiotherapist will prescribe you exercises for quick healing, healing of your neck muscles and ligaments and disc material. Thank you. And as I keep reminding you, keep all the spine surgeons, neurosurgeons, physiotherapists and all these people who deal with spine and spine related issues do subscribe to my channel. This will help for easy notification once I make a video. And if you have any doubts, you can put down in the comment below and do share my videos with appropriate patients or viewers so that they will have their doubts resolved. Thank you.